Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me how you can scroll text on the 16x2 LCD. I did some research, found a solution. So let's get cracking. So my friends, the first thing is you need to have the first lesson where we built the LCD done. I've got a couple versions. I will have links up above so you can click those and get them done. I've created a lot of these circuits, so when I go to circuits, I'm gonna type LCD, and I'm gonna press enter to search for them. So you can see, I've already got one finished. I'll show you that later. I've got the LCD remote, and then all the way over here, I've got my original LCD, and I've got a card. So I am gonna create a copy of the card, because I never wanna wreck my originals, and then when this duplicate opens, let me show you how to make it work. So if you click the code button, you can see our old Hello World. We are gonna adjust that to be a different one. I'm gonna just test and make sure mine's working. I'm gonna close the code. When I hit Start Code, I can see Smart. And remember, I made a greeting card. So this is Roses are red, Violets are blue. Mom, you are awesome, I love you. If you can't see your words, don't forget to always double check this. And then also go back to your code and make sure you have it. Once again, if you don't have this code, I'll have a link up above so you can get to this video. So I'm gonna show you how to do the scrolling text, but before we do, I need you to find this line and copy it. This line right here is how we've got our pins defined, 12, 11, 5, 4, 3, and 2. That's super important. We're gonna borrow some other code, but we always wanna have how we wired our stored so that we can use the other people's code. So now I'm gonna grab all of this code and I'm gonna delete it. Remember, you're doing this in a copy, so you should still be able to get back to yours. So all we're gonna do is go to Google and we're gonna type scrolling text Arduino LCD. There are many, many of these that you can play with. I'm just gonna show you one. We are looking for one that says scrolling text on an LCD from the engineering projects. I'm gonna right click and open it in a new tab. So the engineer's garage is awesome. You can see this was built by EG projects in 2019. Lots of cool information here, explained how to do it with brute force. And if you scroll on down, they show you how to wire, but we've already done that. You can test this code right here using what I'm gonna teach you, but I wanna go to the second method where there are standard LCD commands. These are super slick and we're gonna use one that's built in. You can come back and play with all of these after you learn the skill I'm gonna give you. Here's the explanation of the loop. And all we need to do is come down and find the loop and we're gonna select it all. Now you always need to make sure that you have all of it copied. So I'm gonna go all the way to line one and then you can copy it, return to your project and we are gonna go under the line where our LCD was and we're gonna do control V paste. All right friends, so what we need to do is we need to cut this line and I'm gonna do delete to bring the include back to the top and we need to put it where the other line was. So now it is set to work with our pinout. And then you can change the text. I'm gonna put a quick phrase. I deleted what was there and I put in a little hlmodtech.com and let's get cracking. So now when I hit start simulation, I can hide the code and check it out. It flashes across the screen. That's how easy it is to create scrolling code. So I'm gonna stop this. Let's go back and edit it just a little bit. I can change the delay, let's say to 90. And now when I hit start and hide the code, you can see that moves at a much slicker pace. All right, so let's go back and look at our code. Notice we used the LCD command 0x18. Let's return to that website and check out the different codes. Shift entire display left right here was the 0x18. So let's try 0x1c. Click back on your design, 0x, put the one and I'm gonna do shift C. And now when I start my code, let's see if I typed it in right. I'm gonna hide the code. And now my stuff moves to the right. Interesting, that's how easy it is to adjust. So what I want you to understand from this is that I've got you in. I showed you how to make it work. So now it's your job to explore and find the awesome things. So when you search friends, if you can see this one by Pravi Nandas, 
it's pretty slick. Before we use it though, remember this line right here. Let's go back to our code and we need to copy our liquid crystal line. I'm gonna do control C. I'm gonna move it to the very top so I can use it on the new code. I'm gonna delete the old code, even though it was awesome. If you wanna make a copy so you don't lose it, you can do that. And let's go find that code again. When I hit scrolling text search, I'm telling you to find the one by Pravi Nandas. When you click on this one, his cool project down here is going to do twinkle, twinkle, little star. So once again, we want to copy the code. If you ever get an error, you probably missed a character. This copy the code is a sweet way to get your code. Return to your design. Make sure you're underneath and right click paste. Make sure you're underneath this and then note there is the same command, but there was a different pinout. So all we're going to do is cut the one that we need, control X, delete to pull it up, and then we're going to replace it with the good one, control V. So now we've still got the liquid crystal LCD command, but now we've got the correct pinout for ours. I'm going to close the code and let's hit play and see how cool this is. Sing along. So this piece stays in place and this one does twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm gonna hit stop. Let's look at the code. And if you look right here, see how it says delay? If we change that to 150. So once again, we're just looking at code, modifying code. When you hit start, boom, it completely does it the way you just set it up. So my friends, hopefully that helps you learn how to modify the code, adjust the code, and explore different ways to control your LCD. Friends, a quick shout out to Engineers Garage. Thank you very much, EG Projects, for creating this. And also, and also thank you very much, Pravi Nandas. Uh, awesome tutorial, super cool skills, and I really appreciate that you took the time to put this code up here so we could play with it. Of course, friends, in my classroom, I do want a screenshot of your code. Make sure you capture the code so I can see the text that you've created for your screenshot. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.